Sumerian religion was the religion practiced and adhered to by the people of Sumer, the first literate civilization of ancient Mesopotamia. The Sumerians regarded their divinities as responsible for all matters pertaining to the natural and social orders. Before the beginning of kingship in Sumer, the city states were effectively ruled by theocratic priests and religious officials. Later, this role was supplanted by kings, but priests continued to exert great influence on Sumerian society. In early times, Sumerian temples were simple, one-room structures, sometimes built on elevated platforms. Towards the end of Sumerian civilization, these temples developed into ziggurats—tall, pyramidal structures with sanctuaries at the tops. The Sumerians believed that the universe had come into being through a series of cosmic births. First, Namu, the primeval waters, gave birth to An the sky, and Ki the earth, who mated together and produced a son named Enlil. Enlil separated heaven from earth and claimed the earth as his domain. Humans were believed to have been created by Enki, the son of An and Namu. Heaven was reserved exclusively for deities and, upon their deaths, all mortal spirits, regardless of their behavior while alive, were believed to go to Kur, a cold, dark cavern deep beneath the earth, which was ruled by the goddess Erishkigal and where the only food available was dry dust. In later times, Erishkigal was believed to rule alongside her husband Nergal, the god of death. The major deities in the Sumerian pantheon included An, the god of the heavens, Enlil, the god of wind and storm, Enki, the god of water and human culture, Ninhorsig, the goddess of fertility and the earth, Utu, the god of the sun and justice, and his father Nana, the god of the moon. During the Akkadian period and afterward, Inanna, the goddess of sex, beauty, and warfare, was widely venerated across Sumer and appeared in many myths, including the famous story of her descent into the underworld. Sumerian religion heavily influenced the religious beliefs of later Mesopotamian peoples, elements of it are retained in the mythologies and religions of the Hurrians, Akkadians, Babylonians, Assyrians, and other Middle Eastern culture groups. Scholars of comparative mythology have noticed many parallels between the stories of the ancient Sumerians and those recorded later in the early parts of the Hebrew Bible. Sumerian myths were passed down through the oral tradition until the invention of writing. The earliest myth discovered so far, the Epic of Gilgamesh, is Sumerian and is written on a series of fractured clay tablets. Early Sumerian cuneiform was used primarily as a record keeping tool. It was not until the late early dynastic period that religious writings first became prevalent as temple praise hymns and as a form of incantation called the Nam Sup. These tablets were also made of stone clay or stone, and they used a small pick to make the symbols. Temples served as cultural, religious, and political headquarters until approximately 2500 BC, with the rise of military kings known as Lu Galsk, after which time the political and military leadership was often housed in separate. Until the advent of the Lugals, Sumerian city-states were under a virtually theocratic government controlled by various N or Ensi, who served as the high priests of the cults of the city gods. Their female equivalents were known as Nin. Priests were responsible for continuing the cultural and religious traditions of their city-state, and were viewed as mediators between humans and the cosmic and terrestrial forces. The priesthood resided full-time in temple complexes, and administered matters of state including the large irrigation processes necessary for the civilization's survival. During the Third Dynasty of Ur, the Sumerian city-state of Lagash was said to have had 62 "...lamentation priests", who were accompanied by 180 vocalists and instrumentalists. The Sumerians envisioned the universe as a closed dome surrounded by a primordial saltwater sea. Underneath the terrestrial earth, which formed the base of the dome, existed an underworld and a freshwater ocean called the Apsu. The deity of the dome-shaped firmament was named An, that of the earth was named Ki. First the underground world was believed to be an extension of the goddess Ki, but later developed into the concept of Kur. The primordial saltwater sea was named Namu, who became known as Tiamat during and after the Sumerian Renaissance. The ancient Mesopotamians regarded the sky as a series of domes, usually three, but sometimes seven, covering the flat earth. Each dome was made of a different kind of precious stone. The lowest dome of heaven was made of jasper and was the home of the stars. The middle dome of heaven was made of sagilmet stone and was the abode of the Ajiji. The highest and outermost dome of heaven was made of luludanitu stone and was personified as an, the god of the sky. The celestial bodies were equated with specific deities as well. The planet Venus was believed to be Inanna, the goddess of love, sex, and war. 
The sun was her brother Utu, the god of justice, and the moon was their father Nana. The Sumerian afterlife was a dark, dreary cavern located deep below the ground, where inhabitants were believed to continue a shadowy version of life on Earth. This bleak domain was known as Kur, and was believed to be ruled by the goddess Erishkigal. All souls went to the same afterlife, and a person's actions during life had no effect on how the person would be treated in the world to come. The souls in Kur were believed to eat nothing but dry dust, and family members of the deceased would ritually pour libations into the dead person's grave through a clay pipe, thereby allowing the dead to drink. Nonetheless, funerary evidence indicates that some people believed that the goddess Inanna, Erishkigal's younger sister, had the power to award her devotees with special favors in the afterlife. During the Third Dynasty of Ur, it was believed that a person's treatment in the afterlife depended on how he or she was buried, those that had been given sumptuous burials would be treated well, but those who had been given poor burials would fare poorly. The entrance to Kur was believed to be located in the Zagros Mountains in the Far East. It had seven gates, through which a soul needed to pass. The god Nedi was the gatekeeper. Erishkigal's suckle, or messenger, was the god Namtar. Gala were a class of demons that were believed to reside in the underworld, their primary purpose appears to have been to drag unfortunate mortals back to Kerr. They are frequently referenced in magical texts, and some texts describe them as being seven in number. Several extant poems describe the Gala dragging the god Dumuzid into the underworld. The later Mesopotamians knew this underworld by its East Semitic name, Urkala. During the Akkadian period, Erishkigal's role as the ruler of the underworld was assigned to Nergal, the god of death. The Akkadians attempted to harmonize this dual rulership of the underworld by making Nergal Erishkigal's husband. The earliest Sumerian literature of the 3rd millennium BC identifies four primary deities, an, Enlil, Ninhorsig, and Enki. These early deities were believed to occasionally behave mischievously towards each other, but were generally viewed as being involved in cooperative creative ordering. During the middle of the 3rd millennium BC, Sumerian society became more urbanized. As a result of this, Sumerian deities began to lose their original associations with nature and became the patrons of various cities. Each Sumerian city state had its own specific patron deity, who was believed to protect the city and defend its interests. Lists of large numbers of Sumerian deities have been found. Their order of importance and the relationships between the deities has been examined during the study of cuneiform tablets. During the late 2000s BC, the Sumerians were conquered by the Akkadians. The Akkadians syncretized their own gods with the Sumerian ones, causing Sumerian religion to take on a Semitic coloration. Male deities became dominant and the gods completely lost their original associations with natural phenomena. People began to view the gods as living in a feudal society with class structure. Powerful deities such as Enki and Inanna became seen as receiving their power from the chief god Enlil. The majority of Sumerian deities belonged to a classification called the Inanna offspring of en, whereas seven deities, including Enlil and Inanna, belonged to a group of underworld judges known as the Inanaki offspring of en plus ki. During the Third Dynasty of Ur, the Sumerian pantheon was said to include 60 times 60 3, deities, and Lil was the god of air, wind, and storm. He was also the chief god of the Sumerian pantheon and the patron deity of the city of Nippur. His primary consort was Ninlil, the goddess of the south wind, who was one of the matron deities of Nippur and was believed to reside in the same temple as Enlil. Ninurta was the son of Enlil and Ninlil. He was worshipped as the god of war, agriculture, and one of the Sumerian wind gods. He was the patron deity of Gursu and one of the patron deities of Lagash. Enki was god of freshwater, male fertility, and knowledge. His most important cult center was the e Abza temple in the city of Eridu. He was the patron and creator of humanity and the sponsor of human culture. His primary consort was Ninhorsig, the Sumerian goddess of the earth. Ninhorsig was worshipped in the cities of Kesh and Adab. Inanna was the Sumerian goddess of love, sexuality, prostitution, and war. She was the divine personification of the planet Venus, the morning and evening star. Her main cult center was the Iana temple in Uruk, which had been originally dedicated to An. Deified kings may have re-enacted the marriage of Inanna and Dumuzid with priestesses. Accounts of her parentage vary, in most myths, she is usually presented as the daughter of Nana and Ningal, but, in other stories, she is the daughter of Enki or an along with an unknown mother. 
The Sumerians had more myths about her than any other deity. Many of the myths involving her revolve around her attempts to usurp control of the other deities' domains. Utu was god of the sun, whose primary center of worship was the E Babur temple in Sippar. Utu was principally regarded as a dispenser of justice, he was believed to protect the righteous and punish the wicked. Nana was god of the moon and of wisdom. He was the father of Utu and one of the patron deities of Ur. He may have also been the father of Inanna and Erishkigal. Ningal was the wife of Nana, as well as the mother of Utu, Inanna, and Erishkigal. Erishkigal was the goddess of the Sumerian underworld, which was known as Kur. She was Inanna's older sister. In later myth, her husband was the god Nergal. The gatekeeper of the underworld was the god Nedi. Namu was the primeval sea, Angor, who gave birth to an heaven and ki, earth, and the first deities. She eventually became known as the goddess Tiamat and was the ancient Sumerian god of the heavens. He was the ancestor of all the other major deities and the original patron deity of Uruk. The Sumerians had an ongoing linguistic and cultural exchange with the Semitic Akkadian peoples in northern Mesopotamia for generations prior to the usurpation of their territories by Sargon of Akkad in 2340 BC. Sumerian mythology and religious practices were rapidly integrated into Akkadian culture, presumably blending with the original Akkadian belief systems that have been mostly lost to history. Sumerian deities developed Akkadian counterparts. Some remained virtually the same until later Babylonian and Assyrian rule. The Sumerian god An, for example, developed the Akkadian counterpart Anu, the Sumerian god Enki became Ea. The gods Ninurta and Enlil kept their original Sumerian names. The Amorite Babylonians gained dominance over southern Mesopotamia by the mid-17th century BC. During the Old Babylonian period, the Sumerian and Akkadian languages were retained for religious purposes. The majority of Sumerian mythological literature known to historians today comes from the Old Babylonian period, either in the form of transcribed Sumerian texts, most notably the Babylonian version of the Epic of Gilgamesh, or in the form of Sumerian and Akkadian influences within Babylonian mythological literature, most notably the Enuma Elis. The Sumerian Akkadian pantheon was altered, most notably with the introduction of a new supreme deity, Marduk. The Sumerian goddess Inanna also developed the counterpart Ishtar during the Old Babylonian period. The Hurrians adopted the Akkadian god Anu into their pantheon sometime no later than 1200 BC. Other Sumerian and Akkadian deities adapted into the Hurrian pantheon include Ayaz, the Hurrian counterpart to Ea, Shashka, the Hurrian counterpart to Ishtar, and the goddess Ninlil, whose mythos had been drastically expanded by the Babylonians. Some stories recorded in the older parts of the Hebrew Bible bear strong similarities to the stories in Sumerian mythology. For example, the biblical account of Noah and the Great Flood bears a striking resemblance to the Sumerian deluge myth, recorded in a Sumerian tablet discovered at Nippur. The Judaic underworld Shoal is very similar in description with the Sumerian Kur, ruled by the goddess Erishkigal, as well as the Babylonian underworld Urkala. Sumerian scholar Samuel Noah Kramer has also noted similarities between many Sumerian and Akkadian proverbs and the later Hebrew Proverbs, many of which are featured in the Book of Proverbs. 